In today's health alert, the FDA has authorized a new weight management treatment made by Eli Lilly in Indiana. The weekly injectable drug is called ZepBound. It's approved for adults with obesity and those overweight with at least one weight-related condition. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, here to explain more about this. And Doc, tell us more about ZepBound who can use it. We just talked about this last week. Yeah, a little bit. You know, people yeah. are celebrating it. So Zepbound is a, a part of a new class of medications known as GLP-1 agonists. And its active ingredient is called terzepidide. Now, terzepidide was already available in Munjaro. This is a type 2 diabetes drug also made by Eli Lilly. Some people were using Munjaro off-label. We talked about this, Glenda, for weight loss. But now the FDA has specifically approved terzepidide for weight management under the name Zepbound. Now, how effective is this drug? In clinical trials, it helped people lose more than 20% of their average weight. That's a lot when they took higher doses for 72 weeks. So how many pounds would that be roughly? It's about a whopping 52 pounds wow. according to clinical trials. That's big time. Now Zepound is approved for adults 18 and older who have obesity with a BMI or body mass index of at least 30. It can also be prescribed to those with a lower BMI of 27 or higher if they have one weight related condition like sleep apnea, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol. So how is ZepBound different from Wegovi, and are there any effects from it? Yeah, important questions, right? So ZepBound seems to be a very effective weight loss medication. Its star ingredient, terzepatide, works by mimicking a hormone that reduces food cravings and creates this feeling of fullness. It targets two hormone receptors, GIP and GLP-1. In comparison, Wegovi, which you talked about, which contains semaglutide, focuses just on GLP-1. Now, Wegovi also works by mimicking a hormone that decreases a person's appetite, but in clinical trials, it didn't result in as much weight loss as Zepbound. Now, semaglutide was shown to reduce body weight by about 15% or 34 pounds after 68 weeks. However, it's important to note that these two drugs weren't directly compared in a clinical trial, so you can't compare them head to head. And Wegovi does have advantages as it's approved for younger folks starting as at, at age 12. So it's also worth mentioning that people respond differently to these medications. As for side effects, important to know this, right? Please pay attention. The FDA reported Zepbound can cause nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, hair loss, fatigue, and stomach discomfort. The label will contain warnings about pancreatic inflammation, mm. gallbladder issues, low blood sugar, acute kidney injury, diabetic retinopathy, and the possibility of even suicidal behavior or thoughts. They mentioned that Zepbound was not studied for stomach paralysis. However, patients have reported this condition as a potential complication from other similar medications. Lastly, if you decide to take any weight loss medications, it's important to follow, right? A reduced calorie diet and exercise for best results. And so this is, this is uh, you know, not, a, not a, you know, a drug that you just take without thinking about it. Talk to your doctor. And if it's right for you, it can, it can be helpful. But remember, it's got to be part of a plan. People are going to take this and say, oh, you know what? I'm just going to inject myself, and, and it's going to be magic. Eat. Right, and right. it can't be that. It's got to be part of a plan. Talk to your doctor, because there's some serious side effects there's here. There's a lot in that small print. Exactly, but it's yeah. all I've seen all of them. So you mm. can't just say it's theoretical. So you got to talk to your doctor. Thanks a lot, Doc. Appreciate My pleasure, you. of course. Be sure to tune in this weekend to the Dr. Nandy Show. He's looking at the benefits of germs and how they could be used to help cure medical troubles. He sits down with a fellow gastroenterologist and talks about the potential of the microscope medicine. So it may change the perspective on germs, and that's Sunday night, 2.30 a.m., right here on 7th.